In this video, we're going to talk about the amber lights and their various different meanings, because sometimes they do cause some confusion. So first of all, let's look at the amber light. This means, as a driver, you should stop unless you are too close to the lights to stop safely. So it is very similar in meaning to a red light, but the only exception is that you can carry on if you feel you're too close to stop safely. Also at traffic lights, you will find that they will be pelican crossings as well. This is where the pedestrian can press a button on the footpath side and then the lights will turn red for the cars and eventually green for the pedestrians to cross. So after the red light for traffic, the light will then turn to flashing amber. And this means that the drivers may proceed, but they must give way to pedestrians that are on or near the pedestrian crossing. Next up, we have the flashing amber arrow light. This is very similar to a yield sign. It means that you can proceed in the direction of the arrow, but you must give way to traffic on the adjoining road. Now that road would usually be on the right, as you can see here, but it does depend on the junction because all junctions are different. So the flashing amber arrow light means give way to traffic coming from the adjoining road. Let's look at zebra crossings now. As a driver, if you are approaching a zebra crossing, you must give way to pedestrians that are on or near the crossing. You can proceed if there's nobody around, if there's no pedestrian near the crossing, but you should give way to pedestrians that are on or near the zebra crossing. A zebra crossing will be indicated by the flashing amber beacons, as you can see here, and also by zigzag lines on the approach and in the centre. Also, you may come across these lights here from time to time, and these are double flashing ambers. These are often situated near schools, so they are there to alert drivers to the fact that um, there could be children crossing or running out suddenly, um, particularly around mornings and afternoons when schools start and finish. So these are to, to alert the driver to be careful and be prepared for children suddenly or quickly crossing the road. 